With summer in full swing, it's time for a new WebStorm release with deeper, prettier integration, improved view support, more advanced GitHub pull request support, and more. Let's take a look at WebStorm 2020.2. WebStorm 2020.2 saw a lot of work on popular web frameworks and technologies. Over the last few releases, we've gradually improved our support for the popular Prettier code formatting tool. In 2020.2, you can now use Prettier as the default formatter. Simply set the project preferences to use Prettier with OnCode Reformat. Perhaps this project is okay with the Prettier default of double quotes, but wants to escape the tyranny of semicolons. In your code, when you invoke WebStorm's Reformat code action, Prettier will be used instead of the built-in code formatter giving double quotes and removing semicolons. Improvements to Prettier aren't the only good thing that happened to WebStorm this time. Its support for Vue has never been so advanced. First, WebStorm 2020.2 makes it easy to work with Nux.js, a popular framework built on top of Vue. You'll now get proper completion suggestions in the Nux.config.js file. Nux-specific Webpack setup is also supported, for Nux.js 2.12 and higher, WebSwarm will automatically find the Webpack config file and use the module resolution rules from it for coding assistance. The IDE now recognizes references to the Vuex store and can resolve and complete them correctly. All assets put into the static directory and referenced in Vue templates will be properly resolved in your Nux.js project too. View-specific code style settings are another major enhancement to view support in WebStorm 2020.2. Use them to choose which top-level tags should have their content indented and whether indentations should be the same for the entire view file or should depend on the language settings. You can also change how interpolations should be formatted within your view code. Other improvements around frameworks and technologies include Support for Data, Props, and Options instance properties. Vuelidate support. Enhancements around Vue and TypeScript projects. And support for Git installed in WSL2. We've been quite busy with improving our JavaScript and TypeScript coding assistance. WebStorm 2020.2 has several new intentions to help you do routine work a bit faster. Want to switch to the newer for each array method? Just put your cursor in an old style for loop and use our all purpose alt enter to convert an index for to for each. 2020.2 adds more cases supported by the recently added code intention for optional chaining and nullish coalescing. The intention can now be used with logical operators in if else conditional statements and more. If you have code with JS dot comments and want to see what it will look like, WebStorm 2020.2 can now render the JS doc in the editor by clicking a gutter icon. You can click links to go to web pages. And finally, you can adjust the font size for readability. To go back to editing, click the gutter icon to toggle. Other JavaScript and TypeScript improvements in this release? Start debugging from run in terminal tool windows better item previews in the built-in console, and more. As WebStorm users know, we try to keep up with many of the latest developments in popular packages. Last year, WebStorm introduced initial support for at use and at forward rules in SAS and SCSS. In WebStorm 2020.2, we've extended this support. You can now expect to get smarter completion and improved resolution for imported symbols. Support for the WebP image format was a high vote getter, and with 2020.2, you can now preview WebP images. For example, in an HTML file, shift hover to preview an image link. You can also double click on an image in the project tool window to preview it in the editor. WebStorm has long had fantastic version control support within the IDE, including Git and GitHub. 
introduces consolidated access to GitHub pull request workflows. First, make sure you are logged into GitHub within WebStorm by checking the preferences. To see the pull requests available at the Origin repository, open the pull request tool window. Here, you'll see a listing on the left of pull requests, defaulting to those in the open state. Choose a pull request to review, and you'll see a lot more detail. Pull request messages, branch names, authors, assignees, changed files, commits, comments, and more. Another important change that you'll find in 2020.2 is the ability to start, request, and submit reviews, as well as leave single comments. You can view, edit, create, or remove the commit level comments. The IDE now also lets you view and interact with the line level comments so you can do a code review right from it. When the pull request is ready, you can now merge and close it directly from within the IDE. To help make your code error free with less effort, we've added a new inspections widget and the Problems tool window. The top right of the editor now contains our new Inspections widget. When you hover, it shows the number of issues, errors, warnings, and typos in the current file. You can then navigate between errors using the arrows. Or during normal editing with F2. This navigation will wrap at the bottom and go back to the top. This inspection pop-up also lets you set the highlight level. If you click on the inspection widget, instead of just hovering, WebStorm opens the new Problems tool window. This gives you an overview of problems in the current file. You can then jump to a problem by double-clicking. For keyboard-centric, when the tool window opens, one of the problems is selected. You can press Enter to jump to it, or use arrows to go to the next problem. You can even fix problems without going to the line using Alt Enter. Change your mind? Undo works while still focused on the problems view. Right click works as well, showing a menu of operations on the problem. WebStorm 2020.2 brings improvements to our view support, GitHub pull requests, web and JavaScript support, and more. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy WebStorm 2020.2.